Do you want to go for a walk? Are you ready? Where's your jacket? I know. Where's your coat? I know. Come on then. Let's get sorted out. Where's your lead? Where's your straps? Come on then. You are crackers. Morning guys. And welcome to another daily dog walk and meet Mr. Bluebean. As promised, we're doing a different walk today. We are going to be doing a walk, what I've called bridge to bridge. So basically, we're going to walk to this bridge in the distance. Okay. And then, we're going to walk to our famous motorway bridge. So, it's quite a way actually. <laughs> quite a few few miles but it'll do us good a good bit of exercise and taking you along for the journey as you can see guys it's quite high up here compared to the road level got to be careful and it's icy got to be careful we don't fall over especially with this one mr blow bean because he pulls you over like you're on a jet ski Hanging on for dear life on the end of a rope. It's not fussy, you know. Can you see that? That massive floating debris. I wonder where it all goes, because uh, it must get stuck somewhere. And then the tide will turn. And then it'll go back the other way. Can you see it? Like a massive American style ball thing. Well, it's not, obviously. We get trees going up and down here as well, full-size ones. That must be sketchy, that the old boat's going past. There it goes. So, guys, it's a bit dicey, this bit. So, as you can see, this concrete wall is the original sort of flood defences and then in 2013 we had the tidal surge where, including my home, got flooded. So the Environment Agency decided to spend about £14 million on obviously making the flood defences stronger and shoring the riverbank up and so this is what we're walking on as you can see it's quite a drop but up here um, it's obviously running parallel for the old one taking us closer to the bridge and then we can have a look at the bridge when we get there because there's a house at the end and that house at the end was the old railway station and there still is underneath the actual railway line part at this end what we're at like the ticket office and stuff but it belongs to the wharf so you can't get in it but it's, it's still all there it's still all intact primary school not a bad looking bridge that's where we're walking to it's actually a cantilever bridge this one that side on the right used to lift up to let the ships through, but it don't move anymore. I remember once they did open it for whatever reason and it got stuck and they had to get the fire brigade to come along and hose it down. I think it was when it was really warm weather and get it to shut caused a nightmare. Guys, another educational. See this limestone wall here? goes all the way under them brambles basically that is where the original bridge was and then for whatever reason because I'm not a historian they decided to change it and that's what we've got today over there the Kippy Bridge pigeons love it I think it's a pigeons type of Benidorm holiday to be honest with you 
this is our starting point this is the first bridge we've walked to and now we're going to walk to the motorway bridge taking you behind all the properties of the village off we go again so now you get the full perspective how wide it is going around this corner Starting the oh. get to the of the stomach, touching the dirt. Right then guys, we're now back walking behind our normal footpath area. Oh. And Blue's pulled his jacket open. So guys, you know where we are now? Back behind the properties. Making our way back to the other bridge. We've had several wardrobe malfunctions with Blue's jacket. I don't know if it's because the Velcro has got bits in it or if it's because it's got wet, but it keeps coming undone. So we keep having to have pit stops to, uh, to get it sorted out which is not very good. Right, we're fast approaching the motorway bridge. That means we've walked from bridge to bridge. You need to do our ritual. You need to touch it with your foot. Because of COVID, you don't use your hand. We use our foot. So you'll see in a minute. Yes, we have done it. So then we turn round and head back again. Right then, do you know where we are? You should do by now if you've been watching all the other daily dog walking videos of me and Mr. Blue Bee. So, we're nearly at the other motorway bridge. So this is quite an achievement. I've never walked this walk before and you're all privileged because you've come along for the first time with me and Mr. Blue Bee to do it. So, it's definitely bridge to bridge. You can see what I mean. You've got one bridge, I think was built at the end of the 70s. And then the Kippy Bridge, the green one, was built in sort of the early 1900s. So you've got totally two different styles of bridges. This one's carrying, what, six lanes of motorway traffic? The other one's carrying two lanes of car traffic and two lanes of train traffic, if that's what you call it. But yeah, we're not doing bad, are we? For somebody who never used to get off the couch, hardly did any exercise, hardly did anything other than probably sit and stuff a face. So it proves it, guys. It's all in the mind that if you really want to do something, you can do it. And like I've said before, the only person what's stopping yourself from doing that is yourself. And we can all do this together, hey? And I'd love for you guys to send me in your dog walking videos and let me know how you're getting on. And at the end of this, I'll tell you what the step count is because I'm into my steps as well and my fitness. So I'll catch you in a bit. Your jacket is up your bum. Stand still, let me do it for you. Stand still. And this coat must have come off about 60 times today. It's an absolute nightmare. Don't eat bird poo. It's an absolute nightmare. I don't know why it keeps coming undone. It keeps coming undone under his tummy. It keeps coming undone around his neck and then the next minute he's dragging it along the floor like a tow rope I tell you we need some other clothes I think right it's percentage time again how are we all feeling how are we all doing so to be honest with you I'm probably about what 75 not a massive improvement 
like you say still got a lot of stuff going off at the minute how are you all doing though don't be shy send me your percentages in it's nice to see that people are actually watching my videos and listening to the content so yeah send me a percentage if you've not watched the channel before it's to do with mental health awareness and i just want to know out of a hundred where that is the best you can possibly be what are you today so the hundreds are best and obviously anything less will show how you're doing send me them in the comments i love that so people that's the end of today's daily dog walk of me and mr blue bean sorry if i can't make eye contact i honestly don't know where the camera is on this new phone i'm looking left i'm looking right and i'm still looking and it, it doesn't look like i'm looking so i apologize so yeah if you like what you see will you please like and subscribe because i've noticed i'm getting quite a few people watching but too scared to subscribe and actually it doesn't cost anything to subscribe but it means a lot to the person producing the content such as me and again our mission of me and mr blue bean is simply to get everybody off the settee and out walking about taking exercise doing something different to get fit and healthy maybe trying to honor their new year's resolution if you haven't already broken it because we're only human so yeah come on guys like and subscribe show the world we can do this step by step i want you to all take care and i'll find you on the next one bye sorry forgot to mention i've had one loyal subscriber melvin top man um sent me his own daily dog walking clipping um to show me how it's inspired him to get out and about and walking with his doggy so please yes send me them as well i'd love to see him love to see what dog you've got obviously mine's a french bulldog what shorts see you on the next one take care